Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Return to Grizzly Manor by Fire Maple Games. Uh, this will be the first part of my walkthrough uh, that will take you through to the blender. You'll see what that means uh, once you're playing. Uh, so this will follow my step-by-step -step walkthrough on my website. So if you need more help besides the video, you can go on there to check. Okay, so there's nothing to do on this first screen right now, so go ahead up the stairs and pick up the garden gnome. So the garden gnome is a special, it's a super item, and if you, you can flip them over and see there's a screw on the back. Okay, so close them out, and let's go back, and you see the lamp, the street light is flashing different colors, so tap on it. And now you have a uh, clue in your journal. Okay, so let's go to the right and just keep going over here until you get to the garage. So the only thing we could do right here is take the leaf blower, but we need that, so let's go back. And now let's take the left path. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, so now here we have the clue for the tree was red, green, red, yellow, blue, blue. So you want to tap each part to rotate it. Red, green, red. You want one yellow. And two. Sorry about the noise outside. Um, so now the ladder dropped and also you want to use the leaf blower on the leaves, the pile of leaves, to get the bowling ball. Go inside the treehouse, grab the golf putter, and the diving mask. Can't do anything here right now besides that, so let's go back. And look at this water, there's something in there. So you want to use the diving mask, oh my god it's so noisy outside, sorry. Uh, you want to use the diving mask on the water, and now you see this floating G. It's a stone G encased in rusted metal. So take that, and now go back a little bit. And if you see this little guy standing here, if you tap on him, he moves his arm, and the welcome mat moves, but he moves it back, so you can't do anything. So stick the bowling ball in his hand, and now tap it again. And now the welcome mat stays flipped, and you can pick up the old coin. Okay, so... Now, open your bag, and look at the garden gnome. Flip him over, and use the old coin in the screw in his back. Take the small key, and let's go back a little bit. Go to the front of the house, and now you see this little padlock over here? So use that little key to open that. Okay, let's go inside. And it's not too much to do here, but you can get a piece of tape and a sticker album. This uh, pile of dirt seems suspicious. We'll come back to that later. Okay. Um, now go onto the porch and examine this cup of coffee. You see there's a fingerprint here and it belonged to grandpa. Let's use the tape to lift the fingerprint and let's go back. Alright, 
So let's go back along the back of the manor to this little building here. And there's a scantron. So if you take the tape and put it over there, it scans the fingerprint and it opens up the door. So let's talk to Grandpa. I think Grandpa's so cute. Okay, so Grandpa wants you to bring him a blender. First, let's grab the sulfuric acid and you can read about the CleanBot 2100, the hide and seek robot. Catch me if you can. Um, Alright, so now we have sulfuric acid. Take out this G and pour the sulfuric acid on it to get rid of the rust. Alright, now let's go back to the front of the house. And there's this big G on the front door. So place the G in there. And now we can go inside. So first, um, we're gonna go to the right and open this up to get the microscope. Now go through this door to the kitchen and look inside the cookie jar for some balloons. Okay, can't do anything else in the kitchen right now, so go through to the laundry room and pick up the dust bunnies. We're actually picking up dust bunnies. Alright. Um, we can't do anything here right now, so let's go back to the entrance. And this time, you want to go left through this archway. Um, so there's pillow here, lift that up, take the sock, blue sock. Uh, you could also, while you're here, open this door to the back. Let's go back. Uh, go back to, oh, whoops, go back to the entrance, and this time, go upstairs. There's this little toy, but we can't do anything with it right now, so ignore it. Uh, you want to go to the bedroom and pick up the stickers from the bed and add them to your sticker book. Oh my god, it's, sorry, I live in a city, it's really noisy. Uh, and now the closet, we can't do anything yet. Let's go to the bathroom. You can open that, uh, but there's a puzzle we can't solve yet. So go to the sink and grab the pencil. It's not sharpened though. We're gonna have to figure out how to sharpen it. So let's go back and continue up the stairs to another bedroom. So open the comic on the bed, grab the mailer. You can look at it. You can't use it yet though. Um Make sure to look at this. It's a photograph of a purple teddy bear, a wooden airplane, and a toy sitting atop a shelf. And then if you look up here, you can see that the the teddy bear is missing. So we're going to have to find that. Um, you can go out here and look around, but you can't do anything yet. So let's go back. And all the way back, head to the garage again. And you see this helium here, helium tank. Let's use the balloons. This it. Okay, now we have some balloons. And let's go back to the bridge. So you see this little ring in the middle by the bridge? You want to tie the balloons to that. And now it'll raise the dam, letting water to the other side. And now you can get this ship's wheel also. 
So let's go to the golf course. And this is tricky, a little bit trickier than most puzzles, um, just because timing is involved. You see the uh, the fan is moving now. You need to use your golf putter to hit the golf ball and get it uh, hole in one. I'm gonna try to do it on the first shot. If I don't, bear with me. Um, let's see. When I when I got it, it was on the middle hole, the middle slot. So let's see if it could be on any slot. I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like it doesn't matter which spot it's on. It just moves for aesthetics or something. So now you see the hole-in-one sign lit up, and it's a clue for your journal. And we're going to use that in a second. Okay, let's go back inside the manor. And... You can go through here now, it's a shortcut, and there's this puzzle on the table with black and white stones. So you just want to match it to the clue that you just got. Uh, if, you, if you need help, if you need the picture in front of you, uh, you could use my website, I have a screenshot. But actually that's what I'm using right now to make this walk through, so. And let's just... Do it, and now there's a hidden doorway to the basement with a little hide and seek robot. Okay, first let's go get this slide, microscopic slide from the spider web. And you can't press this button yet because I'm not strong enough. I'm weak. If you tap the robot, he disappears. But you can go in here and grab the last three stickers and add them to your sticker book. And then you want to go over here to the air conditioning control panel and pull the lever to the right. Um, you could also, while you're here, microscope and add the slide to it. You can't use it yet, but now you have that. Alright. So let's go back upstairs and to the main entrance. So now you can see the vent here has air coming through it. So examine it and there's a lottery ticket. So let's grab this lottery ticket and use the coin to scratch the numbers. So now we have the numbers, and that is going to be used in the bedroom. Let's go back to the bedroom. Upstairs, right here. I'm going to go inside the closet, and so take out the lottery ticket. So it's 2419586737. So let's arrange them. Two, four, one, nine, five, eight, six, seven, three. Take the glass doorknob. Now let's go back downstairs. Um, this time we're gonna go through here. And ignore the the lasers. Just go through here, and you can put the ship's wheel on the wall. But we're not going to use it yet. First, we're going to place the door, glass doorknob on this door handle, and this uh door socket. Okay. Uh, now come in here. This is the game room, and you want to grab this hand drill and examine the hat. Now you can get the magician's handkerchief rope. Okay. Uh, now let's go back upstairs, all the way upstairs. 
And go to the balcony. So you see this carabiner here? I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, attach the magician's handkerchief and now climb down it and grab this puzzle piece. Then, if you notice, the window's jammed and also this pipe is disconnected. We'll deal with that later. Um, let's go back down and head back into the dining room to solve the puzzle. So, grab the puzzle piece. So, this is a little interesting. You have to swap them out based on the way they're pointing. So, again, I have an image on my on my website if you need uh, help with that, but let me show you. A couple of pieces are in the right position already. So I like to start with the floor. It seems the most straightforward. That's not it. Okay, so first, there. No. On the bottom. Okay, so bottom row's done. Let's find this one. We'll help guide the others. I think that. No, oops. Um, this one. Wow, it's so noisy outside. I really apologize. And almost done. Um, is that it? No. What else? What's wrong here? This is not. Uh, what's wrong? Oh. What's wrong with these pieces? Oh, the sky. What am I doing? The sky is wrong. <laughs> All right. Open the box. Take the Miller. Take the utility knife, and now use the knife to sharpen the pencil. Oops. All right. Now let's go back a little bit. And go to this telephone, it has a notepad here with some impressions on the paper. You use the pencil to get the numbers and it'll be added to your journal. So you can see it's 541236. So let's go back to the laundry room through the kitchen, laundry room. So there's these two animal cylinders. And they're related to the stickers and those numbers. So remember, the numbers were 541236. So the animals, 541, you get goat, horse, rabbit. So goat, that's the horse, and that's the rabbit. And now the right side, it's 236. So let's look at the stickers again. So it's bull or cow, tiger, pig. And there we go. Let's open the door and I can go back and grab the blender. We can't really do anything else here right now. So grab the blender and let's take it back to grandpa. Grandpa's very happy with his blunder. Okay, so that's the first part of my walkthrough. I'll be back with the second part in the next video. 
uh, and I'll also be updating my step-by-step -step walkthrough. So he wants you to get an alarm clock. That'll be the next part. If you enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.